hello welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is my vlog from passover i will give you a disclaimer because i'm filming this after the fact i didn't film a lot but still i hope that you enjoy seeing the things that i did film and i am showing you and just getting it to glimpse into my life i just got this package in the mail it is from a store called bait sister boutique it's like a christian modesty site I follow them on Instagram for a while, but I've never ordered anything. And then the other day, I just really wanted like a new dress to wear over Halloween, over the intermediary, intermediary days of Passover. Since I'm going to class, I wanted to still make sure that it felt special. So I ordered this dress. Um, I've, I'm very into following like Christian modesty, like boutiques or whatever on social media, just because I think it's interesting seeing like their style and their fashion, just because sometimes you can kind of get trapped in the Jewish bubble. And also Christian stores end up being, or really just like not Jewish modest stores end up being cheaper than Jewish stores. The only downside is that usually the sleeve lengths are a little bit shorter than what I wear and the, the skirt length is also usually a little bit shorter what I, than I wear, but I bought this. Hopefully, hopefully it's long enough. I'm very excited to try it on. There was a sale and then because it's my first time ordering, I got like money off. So I ended up spending up a total of $15, including shipping for this. So that's really exciting. And eventually I want to buy from enough different, like not Jewish modern stores to do a whole video about it. Cause honestly, I think there's only one other besides this store, Jewish or Christian modern store that I've ordered from and that I've been to. So hopefully that'll happen at some point. I just like need to, you know, make enough money to buy this. So without further ado, I'm gonna try on this dress and show it to you. It is perfect. I was a little worried that it would be too short, but it's perfect because on the model, it was a little um, like showing the knee, but, but I am shorter than the model, so it works perfectly. I think in an ideal world, I would have it like a little bit longer, but it's okay. This works, I really like it. Yay. Um, so far, I'll be buying from them again, but again, it's kind of hard to find things that fit my standards within that store but for now this is really cute hello hi Morgan Musimcha. Danielle and I are here it's the first second night of Halloween second night first day whatever you want to call it and we are doing lots of cooking first we're making matzo crack which I'll show you but this is I mean it looks gross but this is the start of it for now and then we're gonna saute some onions for a really big meal we're having tomorrow, which you'll see about. And we're watching Prince of Egypt, but you're not gonna see that because I don't wanna get copyrighted. Or at least you won't hear it, maybe we'll see it. But I don't wanna get copyrighted. So yes, enjoy our cooking adventures on Pesach. Woohoo! Because what else do we do on Pesach other than cooking? Literally only eat, that's it. Cooking. The only thing you do. Okay, the matzo crack has been made. It's still hot, so we're gonna let it cool it down and then put it in the freezer and then it's gonna be delicious. And then I started cutting up onions to fry for the meal that we're having tomorrow. Danielle is being super adult and meal prepping for the week. What do we have, chicken and salmon and salad? What is that, chicken? No, that's good filter. Uh -huh. This is salmon. I haven't decided what to put in the third one yet. Enjoy. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Our, our matzo crack is ready. I put it in the freezer and broke it up. I already had. It's really good. Danielle will do a, a taste test. I mean, mm. it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. It's like addictive. Hence why it's called matzo crack. Exactly. Yummy. It is April. What is the date? April what? 19th. 19th. And there's a freaking snowstorm. School is canceled. Dominic was pushed off by an hour. I actually don't know if I have class on Zoom. This is my car, it needs to be cleaned off. But we're still going to Dominic and we still look cute. Look, she's not wearing a black skirt. It's a cute skirt. She's wearing a cute outfit. We're trying to go to the grocery store to get maple syrup for our meal. And also I want lettuce. Wegmans is closed. Aldi is open. I don't know if they have what we need. So Aldi sort of had what we needed. Um, they had, so 100% maple syrup is kosher Pesach. It doesn't have to have like a special kosher Pesach hechsher. 
Um, so the one that was kosher Pesach was huge and fifteen dollars. We didn't want that. Like, and no. then there were two that were cheaper, but they weren't kosher Pesach. So now we're at Target, and I've definitely seen smaller versions of one hundred percent maple syrup here. So very hopeful because I don't know what store to go. I guess we can go to White. I'm not going to a fourth store if they don't have it. Like we need to like change the menu or something if they don't have it. Change the entire menu. We'll figure it out. Come along on our adventure. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna explain all the chickens I made. This is a lemon honey garlic chicken. You can see all like the sauce at the bottom. I need to baste that. Then these three are the main chickens. It's a piece of carrots recipe. It's really good. And then this is a lemon, on, lemon onion situation. Hello, good morning. I mean, it's like 10, so I've been up for a while at this point. Um, I peeled some potatoes at Chabad, and now I'm walking campus to go to office hours, and then I have class. So this might be a boring day, but we'll see what happens. I have a little bit of time between class, so I'm having the snacks I packed myself. An apple, some dried apricots, and Kosha Pesach Bamba. Hi! Pesach has been over for like an hour and a half, and the first thing we're eating post Pesach ice cream! Ice cream! It's a Sarah's family tradition. It is, so we had to come. Yes. I mean. So as I mentioned, didn't take a ton of videos over Passover, but still, I hope you had fun seeing what I did take videos of and stay tuned for my next vlog.